What's up, YouTube world? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. And uh, you're probably wondering, oh, geez, it's been a minute since I've heard from this guy. Is everything okay? Well, yeah, everything is fantastic. I actually took the last week off. We went on vacation, hence why I'm driving the Wagon Queen family truckster. Uh, we went up to Lake George for the week. And I'm just getting back to my shop now, actually. We literally just got back today. But I had a vehicle dropped off, and I'm super excited to see it. It was dropped off while I was gone. So I'm like a kid in a candy store here to see it. I've never owned one of these things before. My friends had them when I was in high school. And essentially it took the place of these things back in the day. So let's take a look. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, now let's take a look at this thing. But before I do, I should give you a little update on the old wagon. Uh, so we just took this up to Lake George for the week, put like 600 miles on it. This is my own personal collection car, not for sale. Um, I've had this car six years. This was my 30th birthday gift to myself, and I've done some videos of it. But I haven't done any updates, and I just put these beautiful Buick alloys on. Take a look at those things, huh? A little dirty, a little brake dusty. I didn't even get to clean them very well before we left. Some of my daughter's stuff is still in the back. Um, but yeah, we just took this thing on vacation up to Lake George. It was a phenomenal unit. A little slow climbing those hills with that 307 and then at the resort I got stuck in the mud uh, but I did just put brand new tires on it on these beautiful alloys so little update there she is doing great uh, but the excitement here is this Explorer so I had bought this and this thing got shipped in while I was gone uh, thankfully I had somebody here uh, my buddy Sean from Marvel Detailing. He was detailing a Lincoln that's inside that'll be next up for sale, which I'll show you. But this thing got dropped off while he was here detailing, unfortunately, then blocked him in because the transporter locked the keys in the truck. I said, leave the keys in there. I'll have someone take them out while I was gone. He says, okay, I'll leave the key. Oh, that wasn't like that when I bought it. And what else? Some throw me off here. This thing definitely had roof racks or crossbars when I bought it. I don't know. I, I bought it off of pictures. So anyways, 99. I mean, you don't see these things anymore. These were like eaten up by cash for clunkers. This is a 1999 Ford. Oh, those might be my roof rack things. Ford Explorer. I want to say sport track, but it's not. It's a. Ford Explorer Eddie Bauer, uh, one owner truck, van, truck, SUV, whatever, uh, out of Wisconsin. It actually looks really clean. I mean, look at this is how I bought it. I bought it without being able to look at the bottom. I looked at these alloys and I said, ooh, those alloys are in pretty nice shape. I am going to take my chances. Looks like our antenna is a little bent, too. I want to take my chance on this Explorer because I think it's just such a cool truck. You know, buddies of mine had these things in high school. I mean, just look at how nice and clear the headlight lenses are. This thing was definitely garage. Man, that stinks. I'll have to get a new bug deflector. Um, but, so thankfully, the doors, the keys are locked in it. You see the nice Eddie Bauer leather. All the doors are locked. So let's go inside and grab my um, Big Easy and see if we can pop these uh, locks open here before it gets dark out. Ooh, nice town car. Ooh. 
Got the old Big Easy. Let's see how easy this big guy will be to bust into. This is a pretty sweet lockout kit that has um, this giant rod that I can't open with one hand. We got a door wedge. We got a little inflatable air wet, uh, airbag. Um, and then this guy here, this is the Big Easy himself. So let's see if we can wedge this door open. Well, that was painfully longer than it should have been, but we got in. So I tried to hit the unlock button, but that wasn't going to do anything because the battery was dead, but obviously I didn't know that. So what's this thing got for miles? 49,303. Um, so I had to wedge this guy into the handle and pull it because these Fords, you pull the front handles and it unlocks the doors. So that was my only way in. Otherwise, I would have to fish for some keys. But, all right, we're in. So let's get this mess cleaned up. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's get some power on this thing. Oh, wait. Pop the hood. I don't even know... <laughs> Well, I probably looked when I bought it. Oh, yeah, this thing is busted. I must have damaged this guy. Yeah, look, I mean, it's dirty, but clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, not rusty and crusty. What do these have? Hood prop rods? No, obviously blown out pistons. All right, let me get a... Oh, yeah, it's all cracked up. All right, let's get some power on this girl. So what was I just saying? Oh yeah, I didn't even know what kind of engine this had. Was it a six or a V8? In this case, it's a four liter. Is that a four liter six cylinder? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's a six cylinder. 4.0 V6. I think these had a 4.6, if I remember right. If they were, uh, V8s, but we got power. Oh, yeah, we got power. Power on the boards. Let's unlock. No, well, that doesn't even work. Unlock all the rest of them doors. Oh, my God. Talk about throwback. One of my best friends in high school had one of these, and that's, like, literally what I'm going back to. This. Sounds pretty good. Maybe a little bit of an exhaust leak under there. Wow, this thing has got some friggin' options to it, Eddie Bauer. You have uh, 4x4, AM, FM, non-functioning radio. Failed to mention that. Let's see. AC, that works. I hear a compressor kick on. Fog lights, this is cool. Press reset. Wow. Oil change required. That's like a, a uh, information. Oh, this is neat. Garage door opener. I don't know what the uh, rec record. Oh, that's a recording thing? Hey, Eddie, did you get your schedule? Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Power monos. I 
I think there was this changer in these things. Ooh, Nana left all her stuff in this one. Another one of those. Got all the steering wheel controls. Next oil change due from the Ford dealers. Came out of Ford of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Due at 53, almost 54,000 miles. Radio, though, is in off. I'm going to say maybe a fuse. Oh, is your kid's soccer coach and what a the heck? The local chamber of commerce. He's also an independent insurance agent providing local businesses and neighbors just like that's you. That's kind of weird. The best coverages that Ooh, are that's customized to meet individual needs from Concord Group Insurance. Group Insurance has been protecting the well, interests that's of things. Radio works, but there's no display. Okay. Wow, I'm surprised this thing doesn't have Twilight Sentinel. All right, let's take a look. What else we got? Power windows, of course. Power driver seat. Even it's got nice leather, lumbar. Yep, there are my roof racks. Thank you. What do we got here? A little cup holder action. Yada yada yada. Okay. Wow, this thing is a nice little unit. Nope, no, we don't want that. Eddie B. These, yeah, they did not have third row seats. Definitely did not have third row seats at least. Look at how clean like chrome is. Tail lights are nice and shiny. I mean, it, it sat outside for a little while, but this has definitely been garage. Coming out of an estate, I think they probably took it out of the garage and uh, let it sit in the driveway or something. But yeah, man, this thing is nice. We'll have to see if we'll get those roof racks back on. Dual power seats. Oh, and Nana left her uh, little fuzzy. Nana left her sunglasses. Let's see what else Nana left. What is that? Oh, maybe tissues. You got books? No. Somebody took the books. Where are the books? The books got to be somewhere. George Carlin, you are all deceased. Enjoy. Okay. I don't know what this is. Fresh and uh, wet wipes. Drugs. Hampton Inn. More drugs. What is that? Modern. Hot rod dogs, hot dogs, Polish, Italian beef. Interesting. North Woods. All right, well, I guess we don't have much exciting other than whatever the heck is in here. Hollywood video, yeah, that's probably uh, expired by now. I think these are the people that owned it. Yeah, these are their cars. They must have had a tree farm. Blockbuster! Police notebook. That's all about. Nothing exciting. But yeah, so this thing came in. I don't know. We won't harp on it too long. But we get this thing cleaned up. I don't know. Just a cool, unique unit from... My childhood heyday. Take a quick look underneath. Yeah, that ain't rusty at all. A little surface rust on the frame. Sounds like maybe one of the mufflers. A little bit of a rumble to it. But I'd say that's pretty clean for a one owner Wisconsin truck. And this thing did spend some time in Arizona as well. So that's exciting. Anyways. So before I let you off, let's give you a quick update. Wagon, yeah. This, haven't touched it. This thing came in. This is a real nice 04 Ultimate town car. Doesn't run. 
needs a fuel pump bought it that way but super clean car with higher mileage uh in the 60s got a gray leather interior very very nice interior though but super nice car mint beige cloth top cashmere tri-coat is the color done i don't know what was done that doesn't look sketch at all all right this thing was all cleaned up while I was gone. I still gotta put that cowl back together. Forgot about that before I left. Look at this. Beautiful 03 Cartier. Beautiful painted stripe on this thing. I'm gonna do some chrome touches to this thing. Yeah, this is gonna be a shimmering diamond of a Cartier down fire. Woo, Texas car, one owner out of Dallas. Beautiful, beautiful car. This guy sold, this is actually sold before I went away on vacation. Uh, this thing is heading out to Ohio. Uh, this is the 1980 Coupe de Ville. She runs after being parked since 1993. This one runs again. Um, I'm kinda, well, there'll be another video on this thing on what to do with this car. I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself. I was super excited to show you that Ford Explorer getting back um on vacation here uh so anyways that's that i will have some cars for sale this week including this burgundy lincoln um and i actually while i was away well just before i went away i had bought another town car off of a youtube subscriber of mine I'll give you a small hint and I won't say anything else until it gets here, but it's got four digits in the odometer. So that means for all you people who don't understand what that means, that means it's got under 10,000 miles. It's a beautiful one owner car. It's coming out of Las Vegas. So it's a rust free example. Whew, it's gonna be nice. Anyways, it's up 10,000 miles. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm gonna get back in the swing of things now that I'm back. Vacation only lasts a week. Uh, although I wish it would last forever. I love going on vacation. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one Just so I don't, so I don't get everybody to yell at me in the comments. It actually does have auto dimming auto or if I should say auto delay headlights <laughs> That is so cool this thing has got to be a fully loaded Eddie Bauer I would almost bet that that exhaust probably got damaged. Maybe coming off the car carrier. I don't know. Oh, those tires are a little flat spotted. I think. Maybe it's just the road. She drives all right, though. No, those tires are flat spotted. Holy shit. Yeah, she'll have to get a new set of rubber, I guess.